Hey guys, today I will be doing another video on uh, recording techniques and I will be going over the basics of how to uh, use the patch bay. So let's get on down to the patch bay. So every patch bay at a recording studio will have different inputs and outputs. However, uh, the outputs are always going to be at the top and they're always going to be going into the input at the bottom. So let's go over some of the channels we have. So when you're using the patch bay, you're going to use a cable to allow the audio from the output from a microphone go into where you want it to go. So in this case, we have a microphone in Rhapsody Hall, and that is being uh, sent out from the snake into the Neve Genesis mic input. And here we have two microphones going into the snake from the room into the Neve Genesis mic input. Now this is the Neve Genesis uh, console and um, the audio is being sent into here. And so another term uh, to become familiar with when using the patch bay is normalized. So when something is normalized, that means the audio is being sent from the output into an input uh, without having to use the patch bay, without having to use like a cable. So I'll show you uh, one of the channels that are being normalized. So, what's being normalized on the patch bay is that the signal going into the output of the Neve Genesis is going right into the Apogee. And this is normalized so you wouldn't have to uh, use the wires every time that you use the Neve Genesis. So now, say if you wanted to <clears throat> send the audio out from what's being recorded, say into a headphone, which are down here, or maybe into uh, an audio effect, some of them are over here, then you would take the output, which is going out from Pro Tools, from the Neve Genesis, and you can send that wherever you would like to. So that is the basic way of using a patch bay at a recording studio. And a key takeaway would be that the output is on top and then it goes into the input. And uh, sometimes patch bays can get pretty crazy when you're running a big session. You have a lot of microphones and audio effects. And so uh, one more way of thinking about it would be that the audio is running through signal flow like a waterfall. So it takes where the water is and you need to bring it to where it needs to go. So if you're running from the output, then it would need to go somewhere into an input. So it flows just like a waterfall. So that's another way of thinking about it. And that's how you use the patch bay.